Next is question number 2.50. The longest wavelength doublet absorption transition is observed at 589 nanometer and 589.6 nanometer. Calculate the frequency of each transition and energy difference between the two excited states. So we basically have two different wavelengths. We should calculate the two different energy in two different circumstances and find the difference between them. Simple problem again. So here first thing is we will use the first wavelength. Find out what is the frequency and energy. Use the second wavelength. Find out what is the frequency and energy. Minus both of it. It will give you what is the energy difference. So basically that is what is asked in the question. So simple thing. Let's calculate the first wavelength as 589 nanometer. Since we are finding out frequency. Obviously we need to convert this to meters. So 589 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Formula for this is your frequency is equal to C by lambda. C is nothing but velocity of light. So that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by wavelength 589 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Meter and meter will get cancelled. 3 by 589 will be equal to 0 0.00509 into 10 to the power 17 seconds inverse. 8 plus 9 will be 70. When we shift the decimal, it will become 5.09, 10 to the power 14 seconds inverse. So this is going to be the first frequency with respect to first wavelength. Now after this, you need to calculate the same way for the second wavelength mentioned here. So lambda 2 is equal to 589.6 nanometer, which is equal to 589.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Now we are going to calculate the second frequency C by lambda. C is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by 589.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Meter and meter will get cancelled. 3 by this number is going to give me 0 0.00508 into 8 plus 9 will become 10 to the power 17 seconds inverse. Now when I shift the decimal it will become 5.088 into 10 to the power 14 seconds inverse. We will take one more decimal over here. So that gives a major difference in this. So we know what is the frequency of both right now. That answers the first question here. We need to find out energy difference between both. So energy difference here is delta E is equal to because the first end frequency is more than the second one. We will do first state minus the second state. Energy what is the formula H nu minus H nu second one. In both H is common so H into nu 1 minus nu 2. H is what Planck's constant 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second into new one is here 5.093 into 10 to the power 14 seconds inverse minus 5.088 10 to the power 14 seconds inverse simplify the one in the bracket so that is 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 joule per second into this minus this will give your value here as 0 0.005 into power will remain the same 10 to the power 14 seconds inverse. Seconds inverse and seconds will get cancelled when you multiply both this you will get 0 0.03313 into 10 to the power minus 20 joule. Shift your decimal you will get 3.313 into 10 to the power minus 22 joules. This is going to be the energy difference and these two are going to be frequency for each transition. 